it's because some leaders already see a need to achieve something together in common. But they don't know quite how to go about doing it. They've already met one mm. another at a trade association. They've already met one another at a government symposia. Right. Um, and they've already said to one another, we're not quite sure how to go about doing CO2 sequestration. We're not really quite sure how to go about creating fuels from biomass in a way that it can work in our distribution systems. We're not quite sure to, and they, and those trade associations already have specific task force working on this. Mm -hmm. But pooling your innovation together is something separate, because in the private sector they're motivated to do it individually, protect their intellectual property, and not share it. Right. The organizational structure that we have come up with, the way we write the rules, and the way we use human motivation to a common bond creates a balance between the competitive effort, which we permit to happen at a very bottom level, with a democratic teaming effort, with a cooperative effort at the top.